Okay, testing, testing. Hey, you understand that? Okay. Now going into part two of our credit creation videos. Okay. Now for this video, it's gonna be quite a long one because we are going to focus on all the mathematics. Okay. So brace yourself, but please be patient. Okay. Now this is very important. You must have patience. Please be patient. Okay. Make sure you know the method to do it. Okay. Now, so let's not waste time here. Now remember last video we talk about the cycle, okay? The cycle of how credit creation is resulted. Now first, someone deposit money. Second, we have excess reserve, and finally, we loan out the money and further deposit the money as a deposit, right? Now therefore, let's do the mathematics for this video here. Example one. Let's go to page. Twenty of your notes, okay? Now, let's go. Now, we have a balance sheet of a banking system of country A, okay? A very standard. Now, no excess reserve. The public hold cash, okay? Now, first, let's calculate monetary base and money supply. Ma, now, monetary base as simple as CP plus reserve. Now, how simple is it? Ma, cash plus reserve. Cash, a hundred. Reserve. A hundred. Therefore, it will be two hundred dollars. Okay. Now, for money supply, also we start with cash held by public, but then this time not reserve, but by deposit the usable money. Need yes, you want to go that come on, okay? Now that would be one hundred plus one thousand, and that would be one one zero zero. Okay. All good. Come on. Now. This is by formula, nothing special. Okay, now let's move on to next part. Now, next part, we need to figure out the required reserve rate. Ah, no, actually, actual banking multiplier first. Now, remember the formula is deposit divided by reserve. Now, in our case, deposit one thousand, reserve one hundred. That would be ten times. You know, saying sapu la. Okay, with a hundred reserve, we created one thousand deposit. Okay, 好吗 Now, required reserve ratio. Now, remember how to calculate required reserve ratio. Now, this guy, required reserve ratio, is calculated by doing this: the minimum reserve divided by deposit. Okay. Now, here in this example. We do not have any excess reserve, meaning this hundred already is the minimum required reserve. That, 原来最少就要一百蚊，诶，系啦，最少一百蚊啫。我哋啱啱到最少啦，好唔好啊？嗱 ，therefore required reserve ratio would be this divided by this. And oh, actually, sorry. Okay, that would be ten percent or zero point one. 好啊，原來我哋要十 percent， ten percent of deposit should be kept as reserve for safeguard purpose. Okay， 好嘛。Now finally， maximum banking multiplier， remember is one divided by R R R. In our case， one divided by zero point one would be ten. Now look at here. This time the actual banking multiplier， M。Maximum possible banking multiplier is the same, for one good reason because we have no excess reserve. Now think about it. Excess reserve, the bank has power to control whether they hold excess reserve or not. Okay, now they use up all their power and not holding any excess reserve. Therefore, the cycle can be、uh, can be done in a maximum efficiency to the bank's part. Or they got going banking multiplier, ma. Therefore, we are concerned with banks. Okay, now no excess reserve. Therefore, the same, ma. Now let's do la next one. It says now let's say the public deposit this amount of cash in the bank. Now we need to calculate the maximum. Possible change in deposit. Okay, now actually there are two ways to do it. Now let's do the 
normal way first, okay? Which I always say is not the best way. But let's do the normal way first, okay? Now, let's use another paper. Okay, let's use another paper. Okay, let's use another paper. Now, it says, now, this is the original. Now, originally, it looks like this. Right? Long. Now, they say somebody put a cash into a bank. Now, therefore, what happens? What happens would be like this. Since we put a hundred, one, one, zero, zero, this will be two hundred. Now, can you see? Now, one, one, zero, zero, two hundred. Okay? Now, Remember, so-called multiplier. You know, make a multiplier means it it is the initial change times a multiplier becomes the final change. You know, I come again. 所以 multiply 嘅意思就係將原先嘅 change 成個 multiply 變咗 final 啦。OK， 嗱 ，therefore，let's see what happens here。嗱 ，look at here，immediately，here，we will have some excess reserve。嗱，點解？嗱 ，think about it，the minimum reserve required is only one one zero，ten percent of one one zero zero，right？ 嗱 ，versus this guy，do you see？ We actually have excess reserve of ninety dollars. 嗱，而家咪我哋多咗九十蚊 excess reserve 啊。Okay, 嗱 ，therefore excess reserve would become long. What happens? The in the first immediate change in long would be increased. By ninety immediately, you know, yeah. Our loan will 升咗九百蚊，即刻会升咗九诶，会升到升即刻升到九十蚊 immediately. Remember, since we want to get the final, how do we get final? We times the multiplier, the maximum multiplier, because we want to see. The maximum possible change. Now, therefore, ten times final change would be increased by nine hundred. Now, therefore, the final banking system, okay, final loan used to be nine hundred. Now, the final change. Is increase nine hundred, nine hundred plus nine hundred equals to this amount, right? 係咪啊？窿就咁多啦。Now, funny thing is, reserve. Now remember, I always say, reserve. Last video we talk about in the whole process, okay? In the deposit creation process. Reserve remains unchanged. Now, therefore, if we start with two hundred, it also ends with two hundred. By balance sheets, you will see that deposit should be two thousand. Now, therefore, the maximum change is two thousand minus one thousand. Would be one thousand dollars increase. The maximum possible change in deposit would be increased by one thousand. Okay, this is one way to do it. Now, do you see? It's actually rather clumsy. 係咪都幾煩啊？嗱 ，first you need to think about excess reserve. Then you calculate change. Immediate change in loan multiplied by the multiplier. 
to get final change in loan. Get the new loan, get the reserve, and you get the deposit. Rather clumsy, do hold up Therefore, let's not do this. Instead, we do it in a smart way. You know, there are a lot of things that Okay? Now, this smart way hinges on a fact. Now, this is a fact, okay? Okay, the fact. Reserve doesn't change in the process. Only the initial injection would have some effect. Now, therefore, okay, in fact, we can immediately work it out. Now, reserve used to be 100, but then because we put cash into the bank, now, therefore, reserve immediately becomes 200. Now, remember, will it change after all the credit creation? No. This would be the final reserve. 200. There will be no change. Okay? Now, since we are talking about maximum possible, okay, therefore we have no excess reserve in the final step. 最後一步是不應該有任何excess reserve. 好嗎? Now, this 200 without any excess reserve, this is already the minimum reserve. 10%. Now, reverse engineering, we will know it should be 200 divided by 10%, which would give us 2,000 immediately. Therefore, long balancing out this amount. Therefore, the maximum possible change in deposit would be this amount. 200 minus 1,000. 1, 2,000 minus 1,000. That would give us 1,000 increase as the maximum change. You see, in this case, we do not need to tackle any excess reserve. As long as we know the final reserve, the final reserve, then reverse engineer to get deposit and finally loan, right? Very easy. Hinges on the fact that there is no excess reserve. This is already a minimum reserve, right? So this is the way, the correct way of doing it. Okay, now you need more. Now let's see another one. Actually, not one. We we are going to try a lot of questions here. Now, let's do it again. Now this time, we have another balance sheet. Okay, another balance sheet. Now it is known that there is a excess reserve of F F fifty. Public holding cash fifty. Now let's see. M zero. Remember. CP plus R, CP 50, reserve 150, that would be 200, right? Now, money supply, CP plus D, 50, 1000, 1050. And now, now, actual banking multiplier, deposit divided by reserve, one five zero should be six point six seven, something like that. What about the required reserve ratio? Now remember, required reserve ratio is minimum reserve divided by deposit. Now, what is the minimum reserve this time? Minimum one five zero. But we know we are holding fifty dollars of excess reserve. Therefore. We need to minus 50, gamma excess reserve, divided by a hundred, a thousand, sorry. And that would give us, again, 0 0.1 or uh, 10%. Now, finally, maximum banking multiplier, 1 divided by RRR, and that 
would be 10. Now, this time, take a look. Now, more more about. This time, the actual banking multiplier is much less than the maximum. Why? Because this time, we hold excess reserve. Meaning, the bank has not done everything in its power to maximize the cycle. 有钱未借出去啊,他借不到钱出去,咪不能够创造最多的钱咯,是吗?Therefore, they are holding back. So, maximum banking multiplier and the actual quite different this time. Alright, done that. Okay, now, finally, if the public deposit this cash in the bank, we need to ma uh, calculate the maximum possible change in deposits. Okay? Hama. Now, again, let's skip the not so good way and jump right into the uh, the correct way. Okay? Now, step number one. What is the final reserve? Okay? It should be 150. This is the initial. Now, how much money are we putting? 50. This is our final reserve. Now, therefore, this is our bank. We have reserve of 200. Now, second step, what do we do? We remember maximum, meaning no excess reserve. Now, therefore, what do we do? We use our reserve divided by our required reserve ratio to get our final deposit. Take it D, 200 divided by 0 0.1, 2,000. Now, now, finally, loan by just using a double account, a double entry, okay? Balance out. Therefore, you see, the maximum possible change in deposit would be this, 2,000 minus 1,000 would be $1,000 increase, maximum possible. Okay, now, you see, in our example, we have never dealt with any excess reserve and that kind of thing you do not need to deal with those things okay unlike the this way unlike the not so good way we need to deal with excess reserve which can be troublesome right? it's very difficult. Here, we don't need excess reserve step one final reserve step two let me write it out let's write it out clearly Okay. Yeah, Yes. Here. Let's write it out. On the end, Step one. The final reserve. Step two. Maximum equals no excess reserve. Now, therefore. Therefore, what do we do? Therefore. The final deposit equals to reserve divided by R, R, R. And finally, now step number three, by double entry. Okay, then we can calculate our loan. This is the step we follow. Now, remember, to reach, if we want to reach, the point of maximum, the three assumptions are first assumption, no cash leakage, meaning public does not hold cash. Okay, now two, we will be talking about this guy should be a uh, uh, banks do not hold excess 
reserve。銀行唔留力，公眾唔留 ，public do not reserve。Banks do not reserve, and finally, sufficient demand for loan. Okay, these are the three assumptions. 背书嘅啫。Okay, now for the rest of the video, we are going to keep doing all the examples. So stay with me. Okay, feel free to pause the video at any point if you need some time to do the calculation. In fact. I I recommend before you watch the video, okay? Before you watch the video, pause here. Try to do. Let's see. Let's go to page. Let's see now. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, let's go to page twenty six first. 我哋去一廿六版開始先，好嘛 ？Now my advice. We look at the long questions first, but before you look at the,、uh, before you watch the video, pause it, try to do it by yourself first, and then watch the video to find、uh, to、uh, see what is the correct answer. Okay, so pause it here. Try to finish this question first. Okay, now I assume you have already paused the video and be done. So let let's check the answer. Okay, now this is the original balance sheet. Okay, now suppose the public. Do does not hold cash. Now, very important, ah,、uh, uh, does not hold cash, and there is one hundred excess reserve in the banking system. Ah,、uh, you know your excess reserve. Now, therefore, first we find the required reserve ratio. The R R R. Okay. Now remember, required reserve ratio means minimum reserve divided by deposit. Okay. Now remember, minimum reserve in our case five. Hundred, but then we are holding one hundred excess reserve, minus one hundred divided by deposit, and that should give us twenty five percent. 好吗？啊，妈妈，听先。No, twenty percent. Sorry, it should be twenty percent as excess as minimum requirement. Okay, so this is part A. Now let's go to part B. Now part B 讲咩啦？睇下啦。Now find a maximum possible amount. Ah,、uh, my change ah,、uh, amount of deposit if the banks are fully loaned up. Now show our working. Okay. Now again, let's follow step. Step number one. The final reserve. What would be the final reserve? Okay. Let's see. Final reserve, it should be lah. If they are fully loaned up, right now, this time, think about it. If they're fully loaned up, there is no cash. Is there any injection of money or、uh, withdrawal of money? 有冇入過錢同埋有個有冇掹過錢啊 ？No. There is no injection or no withdrawal of money. Only that they lend out all their money. Okay, they lend out all their money. Okay, now therefore, reserve should remain at five hundred, a million. Sorry, ah.、Uh. Okay, because there is no change, no injection, no withdrawal. Okay, now therefore. Since this is a maximum change, it means that no excess reserve. Now, therefore, the final deposit amount, okay, the final at、uh, the maximum, okay, maximum deposit amount should be five hundred divided by this. Number zero point two, and that would give us two five zero zero million. Okay, 原來啦，應該係計到二千五百個 million 啊。Okay, now just that. Okay, nothing too difficult. You just work it like this. Work it out like this. 係咪好容易咋？唔需要諗其他嘢噶啦。Now finally, pass C. 
Part C is different. Central bank injects 真係掟錢啊！今次 injects two hundred million into the banking system. Now again, if they lend out all excess reserve, what will be the amount of money supply in the economy? Okay, now 慢慢嚟啦。Okay, now remember money supply equals to CP plus deposit, right? What is CP? CP in our case. Does not hold cash, so it will be zero dollars plus the new deposit. Now let's calculate new deposit. Okay, follow the step. Step number one. Final reserve. 几多啊？应该系 final reserve. It should be used to be five hundred. Now banks inject two hundred. We will have seven hundred million as reserve. Now, step number two. Since we are doing maximum, there is no excess reserve. Now, therefore, our maximum deposit would be seven hundred divided by zero point two, and that should give us. Three five zero zero million. 係嘛？應該係呢個數啦。Now, therefore, money supply in the economy would be zero dollars plus million. That would give us three five zero zero million dollars as a money supply. Okay. Now. This is a very standard question. Okay, hopefully you get it right. Now, if you get it right, then again, let's move on to the next question. Long question first. 我哋跟讲先一个数字 M C R. Again, my advice: pause the video, try to work out the answer first, and then continue with the video. Okay, now go. Okay, I assume you are done with the question to resume our video. So let's see here. Later on. Now again, we have a very standard, standard balance sheets. Suppose all banks are fully loaned up and never hold excess reserve, right? Always hold cash and hold this amount in cash. Now let's see. First, calculate legal reserve ratio, which is R R R. Remember R R R. Minimum reserve divided by deposit. Now this time, one thousand already is our minimum reserve because. Never hold excess reserve, right? Zero point two or twenty percent, as you like, right? Now and then money supply. Again, money supply equals to CP plus deposit, right? CP one five zero plus deposit five zero zero zero, and that would give us five one five zero million, right? Million, yes. Now don't leave out a million, okay? Or else you get PP. Come on, don't leave out a million. Come on. Now, Part B. Now, a firm in country A receive this amount from abroad and deposit into amount into a bank. Receive abroad deposited. What does that mean? It means that there is an injection of. Fifty million into banking system. 嗱，你一见到 injection 呢个字 ，you know what to do, right? 嗱 ，first of all, let's do Part B. Part B, monetary base. Remember, M zero equals to CP plus R. Okay, now CP. Remember, cash always hold. One five zero million. Now, what about reserve? Reserve used to be one thousand, right? 本身系一千啊 But then, now there is an injection of money. Meaning, right? Injection of actual money. 真系存在嘅钱啦 Now, therefore, at fifty as reserve, we should then get 
1200 million as our monetary base right now class c money supply ms will be cp plus d will be 150 plus new deposit now how do we get new deposit follow the step step number one the final reserve level like we already established should be 1050 million now second remember since this is our maximum change meaning there will be no excess reserve therefore maximum deposit okay or uh, this time let's say the final deposit would be 1050 divided by 0 0.2 that should give us 5250 million therefore money supply would be 150 plus 5250 5400 million okay now do you see Throughout these questions, we have never dealt with any excess reserve. We only hold a key point of final reserve. Now, I hope you, you understand the importance of holding a final reserve. Okay, so this will be uh, for this question. Now, let's continue. This chapter only requires more and more and more exercise there is really no trick whatsoever to it okay come on now let's see again old practice do the question by yourself first before you continue okay let's go now i assume you have already finished the vi uh, finished the question and now uh, watching the video okay now let's check the answer now again standard balance sheets always hold this amount of cash okay now 一定会揸住这么多的 bank no excess reserve now part a monetary base money supply hold up m0 remember cp plus r cp 500 million plus reserve this amount and we get 1500 million right? Now, money, money supply will be CP plus D, and that would give us 5000 and 4000, and that would be 4500 million. Now, suppose the central bank increases the required reserve ratio to 50. Okay? Now, thank you, Robo. 今次升, okay. Now, first of all, before you look at the question, remember, increasing required reserve ratio, is there any injection or withdrawal of money? 有没有蚊钱或者注资入来啊? No. Therefore, reserve remains unchanged. So, part B, M0 remains unchanged. For a simple reason, okay? No change in CP and R. 是沒有任何東西, now, the funny thing is, now, money supply, CP plus D, we know CP is 500, plus the new deposit. Oh, they want a sun get deposit. Okay, new deposit. Now, think about it. How do we calculate new deposit? The same. Step one. 
What is the final reserve? 最後個 reserve 係幾多啊 ？We just say it doesn't change, right? So one thousand million. 唔好漏咗啊！扣分呀。Second step. Since we are talking about、uh, a so-called maximum, we assume maximum. Therefore, no excess reserve.、Uh, in fact, the question already says no excess reserve. This is not required. Now, therefore, the final deposit would be this amount. Divide up, no total so ah. New required reserve ratio is fifty. 0.5，2000 million，OK 得唔得 ？Now therefore new money supply would be 500 plus this amount 2500 million。嗱未完噶 t h e question asks for the change in money supply。Therefore the change。In money supply would be two five zero zero minus four five zero zero would be decrease by two thousand million. You know, would 少咗二千個 million 啦 Okay, so this is how we do part B. Okay, 嗱，望望啦 ，part C. Why is money supply often a few times more than monetary base? 咪又係嗰啲咯，係咪啊 ？Very easy because、uh, banks loan out excess reserve, then deposit goes on until no excess reserve. Now, therefore, therefore, deposit can be created by lending. Therefore, is more. Therefore, more than reserve, lor. 係嘛？誒，唔講啦，依個。Now, C two. Under what situation will be the same money supply and monetary base? Now, what does that mean? Basically, it means when d equals to r. Okay, when d is exactly equals to r. 咩情況之下 money supply 會同 monetary base 一樣啊 ？Okay, either one. Okay, 嗱 either one will do. Either one. First, there is complete cash leakage. Meaning. No one put any money in the bank. I,、uh, yes, I keep it all as cash. Okay. Second, banks hold all reserve. Okay. La meaning they do not loan out excess reserve. Ah. Okay. Not loan out excess reserve. 唔借 excess reserve 出去 ，or、uh, finally no demand for loan. Either one will do. Either one will do. Okay, 嗱呢個背書嘅啫。Okay, 嗱 Part C is about reciting from your textbook and from your notes. Okay, not going to waste time. Now finally, one more long question, and then we move on to MC. 好嘛？嗱嚟啦喎。嗱 same old drill. Pause the video here. Try to figure out. By yourself first before you continue. Ah, but before you continue, add one word for me. The public always hold. 我哋轉咗去，咁啊冇爭議啊。Always hold， 好嘛 ？Okay, pause the video here. Go. Now I assume you are done with the question. Now let's check the answer. Now you see this is the balance sheet. Now initially held excess reserve and supposed to send now. Suppose the central bank buy 嗱好好多嘢係咪啊？嗱 here part one calculate new monetary base show our working okay now part one let's see new monetary base M zero C P plus 
reserve, right? Now CP always hold a hundred. Reserve used to be five hundred. Now what happens? Central bank buys from public. Meaning, what does that mean? Zhong Yuan Nanhao Ma Ye. Meaning, central bank give money to public. What does that mean? It is an injection of forty into the forty million into the economy. Therefore, at forty, this will give us six forty million monetary base. Okay, how much? Long. Now, part two. Now, let's see. State two assumptions under which the actual change in money supply would equal to the maximum. Nah, can get that? Maximum and actual be the same, right? Either one, either two. Sorry, ah, either two. Hey, 不需要吗 No cash leakage. Second, banks don't hold excess. Reserve, my boy, you know they, but free sufficient demand for long, am I? Hey, that boy, you, I'm gone. I go, come on. Okay, now final one. Calculate the maximum possible change in money supply. Come on, la. So la, my money, money supply. First, let's calculate the original. Money supply would be CP plus D. Used to be CP one hundred plus D. Deposit would be two thousand two one zero zero million. You see, this is the original, right? Now, new money supply also CP plus D. That would be again they always hold. Plus new deposit. Now, what is the new deposit? Follow step. Step number one. Final reserve. Now, we get the final reserve. Get that thing. Now, I think we figured that out already. It should be five, four, zero million. We have figured that out in part one. Hama five, four, zero million. Now, since we are talking about max, it means no excess. Reserve. Now, therefore, maximum deposit would be five four zero divided by the required reserve ratio. Okay, we haven't figured that out, so let's figure that out. Okay, now the required reserve ratio. Now, 睇住啦 ，out out out equals to minimum reserve divided by deposit. Now, minimum reserve. Used to be, let's see, five hundred, but a hundred excess reserve. Now, therefore, five hundred minus one hundred divided by deposit used to be this, right? And that would be zero point two, I think, right? Yes, zero point two. Now, therefore, it means that we have to times it by five. That would be two seven zero zero. Ah, mama, million. Million, right? Therefore, the maximum change in money supply would be this: one hundred plus two seven zero zero million minus two one zero zero million, and that would give us. Let's see, get what? Seven hundred, right? Yes. Seven hundred million increase. How much? The maximum change is an increase of seven hundred millions in money supply. Okay, like in China, the same method over and over and over and over and over until you're bored to death. Okay, but basically this chapter. Goes like this. Okay. Now my advice: pause the video, 
go back to a few pages on the front. Page 22, okay? Page 22 up to, let's see, page, let's see, page 22 up to page 25. Now pause the video and try to do it by yourself first. Okay, MC, let's go. Oh, took two, took two. Now, sample paper. The table shows the balance sheets of the. Now, suppose the cash, we uh, have public holding this amount of cash, and the amount of excess reserve is six, uh, 600. Okay, now, so let's see which of the following is correct. Now, first of all, the, let's, let's see RRR, right? Now, RRR, required reserve ratio, minimum reserve divided by deposit minimum reserve 1000 minus uh, excess reserve 2000 and that should give us 0 0.2 right so not for and uh, not 40 percent now maximum amount of deposit let's see okay now this is 0 0.2 right we know this is 0 0.2 now therefore here we do not have any right we do not have any injection or withdrawal, right? Therefore, our final reserve should be 1,000. Therefore, no excess reserve. That would give us deposit equals to, now, final deposit should be 1,000 divided by 0 0.2, 5,000. It should be 5,000. Unfortunately, this is also not correct. Maximum banking multiplier, 0 0.2. Okay, now remember, maximum banking multiplier, 1 divided by R, R, R. 5. Yes, C is the answer. Monetary base is this amount. My wall. Monetary base, yeah. C, P plus R, right? 500 plus 1,000. It should be 1,500. Right? Nanda. Mamo. Very easy. Next one. Practice paper. Balance sheet, amount of excess reserve is 50. Okay, now 50. Now, if the bank is fully loaned up, we need to calculate the maximum amount of loans. Now, let's do it. Now, excess reserve, 50. So, let's figure out. Ow, ow, ow. Minimum reserve divided by deposit oh, sorry deposit that would give us one five zero excess reserve of 50 therefore minus 50 uh, 500 0 0.2 what's it now step one final reserve it should be one five zero but then withdraw 50 from bank account therefore we have fifty dollars gone one hundred then the fine uh, final deposit fully long up right it should be one hundred divided by zero point two would be one thousand five hundred divided by zero point two would be five hundred now therefore the final system would look like this deposit five hundred Reserve 100, balance out, long would be 400. Okay, not hard, okay? not hard, not hard, not not too difficult, as long as you follow the steps, right? Let's move on. Now, 2012, this time, 2012, now the table shows the balance sheets of a banking system. Again, right? Now, suppose required reserve ratio is 25%. 25%. Okay, now, which of the following statement is correct? Excess reserve, let's see. Okay, now, if it is only 25%, the minimum reserve, it should be 1,000 deposit times 0 0.25. 250. But then I have this amount. Therefore, Excess reserve, it should be 400 minus 250, 150. 
Unfortunately, this is not correct. Now, what about actual banking multiply? Actual banking multiply, deposit divided by reserve, 1,000, 4. That would be 2.5. Also not correct. Let's see. The banking system can expand its total uh, deposit to this. So let's see what happens. Uh, part C. How much can they expand? How do they expand? By loaning out excess reserve. Okay, so let's see what happens. Step 1. What is the final reserve? We do not have any injection or withdrawal. 400. Step 2. Final deposit should be 400 divided by 0 0.25 1600 deposit to 1600 yes c is correct amoy no hola jeo le maximum amount of loan can make is this no ga ma wuji no the final banking system should look like this reserve 400 deposit 1600 Long one two zero zero, not this amount. Okay, number. Why? Then we forgot to do it. So we're going Okay. Now this is the essence of this chapter. Okay. You do it again and again and again and again and again. Okay. Now, 2013. Yes, I'm Initially, a banking system has an excess reserve. Now, excess reserve, ah, huh? one sixty, and public holding this amount of cash. Okay. Now, suppose. This amount is withdrawn, is withdrawn, and held as cash, held by public. Now, what will be the money supply? Now, this time it's a little bit clumsy. Okay, now, get you that. First of all, let's work out the required reserve ratio first. Now, that can see it. Out, out, out. Would be minimum reserve divided by deposit. Minimum reserve, 400. Minus one six zero and one two zero zero. Okay, this is 240, right? Zero point two percent. Zero point two twenty percent. Okay, now remember money supply CP plus deposit. Now let's calculate CP first. CP used to be two hundred, but now they withdraw. And how as cash, therefore, plus a hundred. This is CP, the new CP. What about the new D? New D. Follow steps. Step number one. What is the final reserve? Okay. What is the final reserve? Used to be four hundred. Withdraw one hundred. 300 million okay now what about the final deposit since we do not have excess reserve let out all excess reserve right now therefore 300 divided by RRR 1500 this will be result now therefore here will be 300 plus 1500 1800 See, okay. Now, join me. 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 我們現在沒有錢 No injection What does that mean? It means reserve would always keep constant No withdrawal, no, no injection Okay, now second Maximum banking multiplier will increase No, maximum banking multiplier refers to 1 divided by RRR It has been 25% It stays 25% So it's still 4 Okay doesn't change. Money supply will remain unchanged. Uh, I'll let you know. Loan out more. 
when they loan more, that would be more money. Okay, I think you know this is not correct, right? Now D. Now let's see. The maximum possible increase in loan will be the same as the maximum possible increase in deposit. Let's calculate. Or by CT or what? Now again. Final reserve. In our case, no injection, no withdrawal. Four hundred. Now therefore, final deposit would all would be here. Let's see. Four hundred divided by zero point two five. 1600. Now, therefore, the banking system will look like this. Okay, this is bank. It will look like this. Deposit 1600. Reserve 400. Loan 1200. Now, let's see. Deposit increased by 40. And uh, 400. Loan also increased by 400. Therefore, the same. True. Yes, they're the same. In fact, you don't need to calculate. This must be true. Think about it. Is there any change in reserve? No. Therefore, only loan can and deposit can change. Reserve cannot change. Therefore, the same. Okay, now, next one. Next one. Okay, only two more pages to go. Okay, bear with me. Almost done. Almost done. Later on. Now, we have the following information. Now, let's see. Well, this time, it's a little bit funny, right? Monetary base, remember. What is monetary base? CP plus R. Coins and notes circulate in the public. CP. What does that mean? These two columns together, meaning that reserve is 200 billion. You know, you back a billion, uh, okay? We quite reserve ratio. Now, if the banks are fully long up, amount of deposit, let's see. Step number one. Final reserve will be 200. Therefore, final deposit will be 200 divided by 0 0.2. 1,000. 1,000, right? So, A, 1,000. Okay, just like that. Well, who will get here? Now, next one. We give them, uh, nah, you are given uh, so called uh, balance sheets, right? Now, first of all, let's see, let's see. If the central bank issue newly printed worth of this amount, okay? Now, the cash. Held by bank and non bank will increase by a hundred. Okay, now let's see. Now, this is what I'm going to do. It says the central bank issued newly printed, meaning that's an injection of 200 million, right? Now, unfortunately, the cash held by the non public increase by 1 million meaning into bank there is only 100 into bank you know yeah and the new money supply will increase by 500 okay la lam lam see what is money supply here Money supply is CP plus deposit. We already established that this will increase by 500. CP increase by, let's see, CP increase by 100. Now, therefore, what happens to the deposit? Deposit increased by 400. Right by this logic, am right? I? money supply single bar, by yen single deposit increased by four hundred. Now therefore, now this time, we just follow the rules. 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 We just 
increase by 400, right? Now, think about it. What about reserve? What about loan? Okay, now this time, you definitely have excess reserve. So, don't do the things we have been doing. Now, this time, it's a little bit tricky. It's a little tricky. Now. Reserve used to be 300, but then we say only injection of money into bank. How much? 100 goes to CP, only 100 go into reserve, therefore is 400, 300 plus 100, Therefore, loan is this amount. Now, let's calculate. Here, this guy, the minimum reserve should be 1400 times here. 20% 280 but we have 400 therefore excess reserve existing in the bank is 120 million now this is quite a difficult question because this time you are not doing the usual way but you have to do some logical deduction newly printed meaning injection but the public took 100 so only 100 into the bank, reserve increased by 100. Now, we know money supply increased by 500. By the virtue of this uh, uh, formula, right? 500, this increased by 100. Therefore, deposit increased by 400. We calculate this two, and then we will know the so-called excess reserve. Okay, now, next one. Excess reserve minus excess reserve. Excess reserve of this amount. Now, therefore, let's do our, our, our. Minimum reserve divided by deposit. Minimum reserve 250 minus 125 divided by 500. It should be 25 percent. Our, our, our should be 25. Require reserve ratio. Now, this is correct. We need to find something that is incorrect. Okay. All right. Actual banking multiplier. Deposit divided by reserve. And that would be 2. Unfortunately, D is wrong. Okay, now, time out. Okay, Maximum amount of loan is this amount. Now, let's calculate, right? Let's calculate B and C. Step number one final reserve. Is there any injection of money? Is there any withdrawal of money? No. Therefore, it remains at 250. Now, step number two final deposit would be 250 divided by uh, 0 0.25, 1,000. Now, therefore, the system looks like this. Deposit, 1,000. Reserve, 250. And loan, 750. Okay, so I'll be done. Final page. Kim do get. Okay, final page. Two more MCs to go. Now here, let's see. Now the following table. Yeah, 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 here. Now the following table shows a uh, balance sheet. Now public does not hold cash. Require reserve ratio. Okay. Reduced to twenty-five percent. Now after deposit creation, the loan would be this amount. Now, if any one of you has been using the calculator, you must be stupid or foolish. Okay? Now, first of all, final reserve. Is there any withdrawal or injection? No. Therefore, it is 300. Reserve, 300. Loan, 750. Therefore, deposit, 1050. Okay? You do not need to press calculator. They have given everything to you. Okay, so let's see. Money supply increases by 300. Now, let's see. Original, okay? Original. MS 
used to, no no CP right now no CP we don't have CP so used to be 900 now money supply 1050 therefore increased by 150 not 300 okay actual banking multiplier let's do actual banking multiplier deposit divided by reserve 1050 three zero exactly 3.5 okay B is the answer now C deposit increased by no 150 we just mentioned right 150 no and banks reserve no doesn't change because there is no change no withdrawal no uh, no injection right okay tam da ho final one how to do game la ma some information uh, money supply we have this actual reserve ratio excess reserve okay now let's see the public uh, this one is a little bit clumsy now suppose the public always hold this amount of cash okay hold up let's pause here this is the original situation remember money supply equals to CP plus deposit now we know CP one two zero 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 what does that mean CP one two zero 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 and deposit two three zero 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 Okay, now, now, more time will go. Let's establish the original balance sheets first. Okay, now, little bit. Thanks. Originally, two, three, zero, zero, zero. Actual reserve ratio, 25. So, let's put 25. 25, take it. Cheating time. Let's do some cheating time, okay? Here, two three zero 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 times zero point two five is five seven five zero reserve. Okay, long one seven two five zero. Now, this is the original situation. You see now the situation. Now. We know here we have some excess reserve. Therefore, let's calculate what is the required reserve ratio. It should be minimum reserve divided by deposit. 5750 minus 1150, 23000. Okay? You're cheating time. Sorry, ah. Uh. You, you did cheating time. Uh. We need some cheating. Here. Again, it's five seven five zero minus one one five zero four six zero zero divided by two three zero 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 point two. Yeah, we have zero point two. Okay, now so let's say when in doubt, always assume the out 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 to be zero point two. Tai tai do have zero point two. Now always assume. Okay, zero point two. Now we are ready to work out what if the bank loan out excess reserve. And all loans are redeposited. They're maximum, right? Gonna count that, right? Now let's see what will uh, what is going on here. Now, actually, to this is very easy. Step one, final reserve. Wait, how much? Lam Mei reserve is how much? Is there any injection or is there any withdrawal? No. Therefore, it stays five seven five zero. Okay. Now, therefore. The final deposit will be 5750 Deposit two eight seven five zero, and so long will be zero 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 two three zero 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 zero. Hama, in Okay, so let's see which one is correct. 
maximum banking multiplier will be 4. No, it's 5. 1 divided by 0 0.2 equals to 5. Okay, then that, no. Now, maximum possible amount of loan would be 23000. Yes, this is the answer. Now, maximum possible amount of money supply would be this amount that gives you all. Money supply equals to CP plus deposit. CP, 1200, way bigger than this amount. No, this is missing cash. And finally, monetary base. Now, what about monetary base? M0, CP plus R. 12000 plus 5750. Okay, so I think this is a difficult question, right? This is a tricky question. So in your study, remember, pay more attention starting from page 24 here. Page 24. Pay more attention to all these MCs, okay? And with that in mind, we are officially done with all the exercise and examples in our credit creation. And I find that I actually leave out one final part, money market equilibrium. So let me have a separate video to talk about that, all right? With that in mind, I will see you again in the next final video for chapter 20. See you later.